We're going from Indonesia's capital, Jakarta, to the city of Bandung on an existing train. This journey takes about three hours. On this thing, just 40 minutes. It's pretty comfortable on board and at a top speed, it reaches 350 kilometers an hour. That's in line with the world's fastest high-speed rail in China. And it's China that built this train and jointly operates it. Hello. There's a real need for infrastructure like this in Indonesia. With 270 million people, there's huge excitement about the launch of this project. What do you think? Cool. And this is uh, very nice, very good, and it is uh, like uh, amazing. amazing for Indonesia. We cannot imagine that we have this modern uh, train like this. We never imagined that uh, it's Indonesia having like this. <laughs> Indonesia need more trail again for uh, to Jogja, from Jakarta to Surabaya. So you hope this is just the first step? Yes, first step. China's push to export high-speed rail like this, though, isn't easy. This project is about four years overdue and almost $2 billion over budget. There have been problems acquiring land for the tracks and the stations. Economists say it's probably going to run at a loss, which does cast doubt on China's offer to extend the rail projects in future. But for those on board, this nonetheless is a very impressive ride.